Today on eTalk, we try new Dunkin' drinks, talk about Demi Lovato's Froyo Freak Out, and see if Taylor and Cami know their TikTok dances. All that and more coming up. Hey eTalkers, thanks for tuning into this week's episode of eTalk. I'm Cami here with Taylor and we are so excited for this week's episode. Let's jump right into the hottest gossip of the week. So Taylor, what do you have for us? All right, I think we need to unpack this whole Demi Lovato we situation. We do, we really do. Um, lots of mixed reviews on this. Basically, Demi went to a Froyo shop mm -hmm. in Century City in Los Angeles. It's called The Big Chill. I've actually been there. Great frozen yogurt, by the way. Wow, well, so look at you. Knows. Props to that. <laughs> but um, she went there, and the, when she first walked in, she said, you know, all I saw were sugar-free mm -hmm. and, you know, vegan options, you know, everything kind of tailored to, you know, diets and everything. Right. And she's had a very big history with eating disorders her entire life. Mm -hmm. She struggled with bulimia and anorexia. So, you know, that really triggered her, unfortunately. And she ended up leaving the shop. Um, she went on her phone, went onto social media, tweeted about them, said, you know, I am so uncomfortable that I walked in there and I had this experience. You guys need to do better. Personally, though, it's, it's, it's very difficult because I understand where Demi's coming from, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you know, it's our personal responsibility when we're going through something to, you know, try to get ourselves through it. And we all have difficult times, but, you know, she's been dealing with this her whole right. life. So you would think that, you know, she's used to it. I right. don't know. What do you think? So I think I agree with you. You have to deal with what you're going on with yourself. Right. You can't just take it out on social media. And Demi isn't someone who has like 100 followers on Instagram where nobody's really going to notice. It's Demi Lovato. People are going to notice. Yes. And so when people notice, they take it and they make it viral. And so then this led to Demi's response recently with yes. a video on Instagram. And she just really unpacked what she was feeling, which I understand. But I do think as a human being, we all go through different things. We're yes. all learning. We're all, it's trial and error. And we need to go through that ourselves. And then if we decide, hey, this is what happened to me recently. Want to share it with you. No harm on the frozen yogurt exactly. plate, place. But let me guide you towards a better place and maybe people will reward late. This kind of came out of anger and meanness. And I support Demi for being so vocal about her issues. And yeah. I don't want to say issues, but about what she's going, what she's through. going through. And I really support her with that. And I love her transparency. But at the same time, you need to catch yourself in those moments, especially when you have that big of a follow-up. Oh, yes. That, that makes it all the difference. I yeah. agree with you. Yeah. So... Transitioning into another topic about body positivity. Let's hear it. So Khloe Kardashian released this photo and we know her struggles and her trials and tribulations with weight management. Yes. And she's been awesome in sharing that to social media. But she posted a picture. She looked beautiful, very thin, very curvy. And then another photo was accidentally released. And it seemed that the photo that Colby posted was photoshopped. Oh, gosh. And people were going crazy. It was all over TikTok. It was all over Instagram. People were like, what is this girl doing? She's photoshopping. And we have caught the Kardashians photoshopping oh, before. Oh, times. Yes. Yeah, so then Chloe kind of went on live on Instagram and showed her body to the world and was like, this is who I am. This picture was taken at a bad angle. I decided not to post it. Um, and then after that, live, people still went on to nitpick her. Right. But I don't know. What do you think about the whole situation? I think that, especially for Chloe, she's always said she's been compared to her sisters mm -hmm. her entire life. So it's definitely not easy. You know, obviously the Kardashians are beautiful people. Yeah. Everybody yeah. loves them. Everybody looks up to them. But at the same time, I think that because she does have this huge following, that she should be a role model for people. And, you know, body positivity isn't about just being thin and curvy. It's mm -hmm. about embracing your body mm -hmm. and who you are. And, you know, she does have so many followers and also like very young children who look up to her. And I wish that, you know, when she posted that picture, 
she didn't try to take it down right away because it kind of just showed, you know, her insecurities, which everybody has. But at the same time, it's also kind of a little bit tug and pull. Like it's a little bit hard in her situation. So right, yeah, I agree, and I I do love how she kind of was like, "This is me. This is who I am," and she was clapping back a little bit. She definitely was. <laughs> but and and that's the Kardashians for you. I just I. Everybody, I feel like at some point in their life is guilty for just, you know, taking the pimple away or right. doing something different. Nobody's perfect. Exactly. So. But I don't know. Good for good for Chloe for doing what she felt was right. Yes. Let everybody say what they want to say. And she has and her, her brand. Um, all, is it All, all American? American? Yeah. So yeah. she has her jeans line, which like promotes body positivity. So yeah. I, I think that she is just a great role model and should just embrace her body because I agree. everybody loves her, obviously. I know. As somebody, I heard a quote the other day where everybody was like, every body is different. Like, every human is different. Embrace what you have because you're one of a kind. And like, I love this that. is you. And I just thought that was really cool. That's and beautiful. that like stuck in my head. I'm like, yeah, like this is me. This is my yeah, body. Yeah, so all our e-talkers out there, always remember that. You're beautiful the way mm -hmm. you are, so. Yeah. All right, next up, Simone will tell us all about some Amazon fashion favorites. Don't go anywhere. There are 16 million children struggling with hunger in America. That's one in five daughters, sons, neighbors, and classmates who don't know where their next meal is coming from. Yet billions of pounds of good food go to waste every year. It's time we do something about it. Feeding America is a nationwide network of food banks that helps provide meals to millions of kids and families in need. Visit feedingamerica.org to help them feed even more. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. Alvin and the Chipmunks want to remind you, bacteria can hide in food and make you ill. Wow. But you can keep bacteria from ruining your day with four simple steps. Clean. I'm waiting for the rinse cycle. Separate. <laughs> And chill. We chipmunks are notoriously tidy. Check your steps. The road trip to food safety starts at foodsafety.gov. Oh, awesome. Hey everyone, welcome to Style Corner. I'm Simone, and today we're going to talk about some of my Amazon fashion favorites. So let's get started. First up, we have the AOJOX Biker Shorts, A-O-J-O-X, Biker Shorts. The brand is so important because this brand is the best, like, athleisure dupe brand I've found on Amazon. They feel and look like Gymshark. I get the most compliments when I wear them, and they're only, like, $20. I have this pair right here, and it's my favorite pair of biker shorts I've ever owned, and I have, like, nicer ones, too. So I definitely recommend checking them out for a great deal, and they're just so perfect for the spring and summer. Next, the Pavoy Hoops. If you haven't heard about these yet, I feel like they're all over TikTok. I'm a sucker for this jewelry brand. Um, I'm wearing them right now. I have them in a bunch of different styles and sizes. And I feel like you get Instagram boutique style jewelry and quality, but for like a wholesale price. So it's so worth it. I think they're 10 bucks and you can wear them when you shower. I've worn them in the ocean and they still look brand new. Then the Dragon uh, Fit Workout Top, also a brand to look out for for athleisure on Amazon. It just fits like the Align Tank Top from Lululemon, and it's just so cute and perfect for the day-to-day. -day. I feel like outdoorsy stuff for spring and summer, this is perfect, going on runs outside. It's just such a good dupe. I totally recommend, and I think, again, it's only $20. Like, you can't beat these prices. Then the Honor Sex Tennis Skirt, I also have this myself and I got all my friends hooked on it. It's such good quality. Again, such a good price. I think it's $25. They have it in a million colors, and I feel like it's like the sisterhood of the traveling pants type pants, where it just fits everyone so well. Doesn't matter what your body type is. It really just hugs all the right places. It just, I don't know, my friends and I are all obsessed with this skirt. We all have it. They all ended up purchasing it after borrowing mine, and I couldn't recommend it enough. Um, next up, we have these claw clips. I would screenshot this right here because I'm not, I'm not even, don't even know how to pronounce it. I think it's Aussie Beely, but they're the claw clips and they're the best for really long, thick hair. I have a lot of hair, it's very long, 
and it's been really hard to find claw clips that actually will keep it up but obviously I want cute claw clips because that's just like the big trending thing for hair this spring and summer and I got this pack and it's just perfect so next up we'll review the new Duncan menu items Hey eTalkers, it's Cami here and I'm going to review the TikTok Dunkin drinks so you don't have to. Okay, so the first one we're going to try is the Blueberry Pomegranate Refresher and I'm so excited because I've never had a refresher from Dunkin before so this is going to be interesting. Oh, it's good. It kind of tastes like iced tea in a way. I wonder if it is iced tea, but it's good. It's let me taste it again. I mean, it kind of just tastes like a berry with um, like iced tea in it, like an iced tea berry drink, like a raspberry iced tea. That's what it reminds me of. So it's good. Not sure if I would buy it again, but definitely should try it if you love refreshers. Okay. Oh, actually, I'm going to say that's special. That's for last. Okay. Um, so we're going to do the chocolate stout cold brew. I'm really excited because I don't really put chocolate in my coffee. So let's see how this tastes. Yum. Wait, why have I never gotten this before? This is so good. Thank you, TikTok. And it has like the cold foam on top. So that's so good. I love the cold foam. It like always adds something extra. I like this a lot. Like really good. Delicious. 10 out of 10. Try it. Okay, here's matcha. I'm, I'm like an interesting person with matcha. I don't really, this is a matcha latte with blueberry. So I don't know, we'll see. I, I Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't, so. Actually, like you get like the hint of blueberry, but it really just tastes like a matcha latte. It's pretty good. I know people love Dunkin' Matcha. I think it's really good too, but I know people who literally live by it. And so if you like it, it's cool with like the little hint of blueberry at the end. And for the final drink of the day is the Charlie, the famous Charlie cold brew with the cold foam. Never had it. Obviously very famous on TikTok. So let's see how this, this goes. It's sweet. It's really sweet. It's good. It's just super sweet. And you have the cold foam with it. I think it's just a very sweet coffee. Like, I guess like Charlie. And that's what Duncan was going for. But my favorite was the chocolate cold brew. Definitely try them all. They all were amazing. Thank you, TikTok, for putting us onto this trend because I'm totally gonna go and get me some more Dunkin' after this. <laughs> Let us know if you try these drinks, but next up, Avery will be sharing the new Snapchat update. Hey everyone, welcome to Social Corner. I'm Avery and today we're going to be discussing the new April Snapchat update. So first off, we're gonna talk about the new notifications. So the notifications now have bitmojis next to it, which actually makes it more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. I'm a huge fan of it myself, especially because I just recreated my bitmoji, so I'm very excited for people to see it. And next, we're gonna talk about saving Snapchats in the chat. So now when somebody sends you a picture, you could actually click the three dots in the top right corner, and if it's on infinity mode, you could save that picture in the chat, which could actually be somewhat dangerous, but you know, some people, if you send a funny picture to your friend and you wanna save it in the chat, that's a cool little feature. And finally, we're gonna talk about calling on Snapchat. So normally when you call on Snapchat, you have to stay on the app in order for your call and audio to go through, but now it works like a normal iPhone. So you could actually call your friends while browsing around other apps on your phone, or you could even put it on speaker and listen to what the other person is saying. So next up, Ariella will be telling us all about gua sha's. Hey everyone, I'm Ariella, and today I'm gonna talk all about gua sha's. So what are these weird looking stones? Basically, they have become a vital part of my skincare routine. After you moisturize and after you're done with your skincare routine, go in with this amazing tool. It's made out of jade and quartz, or, or quartz, either or. It's this ancient Chinese method of medicine that dates all the way back to the Ming Dynasty. And basically what you do with it is you put it on the high points of your face, you put it on your jawline, on your cheekbone, 
Um, I even go down my nose because I like to have a little snatch nose and it helps relieve tension in your face. It helps with sculpt, sculpting your face. It increases circulations. It helps moves, move around your fluids and get rid of different toxins in your face. It reduces puffiness. It honestly just has amazing benefits. Um, I highly recommend it and they are a bit pricey if you're getting the jade or quart ones, but you don't have to get that. You can get a plastic version. Um, they sell them at Sephora, at Ulta. I actually saw them at CVS the other day, so any drugstore or beauty store, you can find them. A pro tip that I like to do is put it in the fridge overnight, let it sit there the whole day in a plastic bag so that when I use it, it comes out nice and cool because when you put cool products on your face, that also helps with removing toxins. So next up, we'll be playing a fun game with our main host. Don't go anywhere. I want to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I need to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Why can't I eat, eat, eat? One in five children struggles with hunger in America. Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. What are you, superheroes? Just four brothers who hate bullies and love this city. Talkers, I'm Taylor, and today Cami and I are going to be playing a super fun TikTok game. Hit it, Cami! Let's go, girl! Oh gosh, I'm really scared. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm gonna play. I have TikToks on my phone, and I'm gonna try and dance. Okay, this is a first TikTok or a first e-talk, and Taylor's gonna guess. So here we go. Let's do this. Oh, dun 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 dun. dun. I don't know the name of the song, but yeah, it's like that. Yes, yes. It's, it's, it's like just um, musical. It's, yes, 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 yes. Instrumental. Good. You got it, you okay. got it. Okay, ready? What you know about love, I got what you need. I don't know the, the guy, but yeah. You get what you please. <gasps> <laughs> Sorry, you talk. <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah. You know about us. Yeah. Yeah. I got what you need. Woke up in the store and get what you want. What's up, Shay? What's up, Lid? That weird bunny thing. He talked too much, but it's still. <laughs> she a fool on that. <laughs> Wait, what is this? I'll do it again. Beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. Yes. Now stop and let your homeboy hit it. Beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. <laughs> beat it, beat it. E okay. talkers, beat it. Homeboy oh hit it. Beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. Beat okay, it. so you just witnessed my one of a kind dancing, and now we are back with Taylor. It is your turn. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Give me, give me more, give me more, give me, give. I want to dance with you, it's so fun. <laughs> give me more, give me more. Uh, tap, 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 tap. It was PMEA. Oh, wait. Oh, I love PMEA. I can't believe I missed that one. Okay, sorry, I love you, PMEA. <laughs> Oh, I know this one. Uh, mm. Tap, tap, tap. And I saw glitter. I'm a bit up, it's face like glitter. Oh, it's up and it's up. Oh, Cardi, I love you too. I'm sorry, you're not getting these songs. Tap, tap. Tap, 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 tap. Mm -hmm. Tap, yep. 
Look at the twirl. Tell her what the twirl. Wrist on glitter. Waist on thinner. We did all of that? Oh my gosh. Look at us, TikTok queens. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us tonight. And make sure you follow the Instagram page at eTalk e e Elon. We can't wait to see you next week. To find out more about eTalk, visit elonstudenttv.org. Thank <laughs> you.